my squidlings, it's Katie here and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing another review of a product. So today's product in the spotlight is uh, the Lucas Krill Terzia acrylic paints. Um, I did purchase these with my own money so I uh, just want to throw that out there, I'm not being paid or sponsored or any of that jazz. It's just I bought these a long time ago and I used them a little bit, actually a lot of it. You can tell from some of these squeeze tubes. And I kind of wanted to share my experience with you and whether or not it's a good paint for you to buy or not because that's what we do here. <laughs> so um, these come in sets of 12 that you see here and they are 12 milliliter tubes. Or they, you can buy them individually in, I think, 125 milliliter and 500 milliliter. Um, the set is $9, I believe, at Jerry's Artorama right now. I don't know if you can get these anywhere else, but um, because they are, like, foreign, they're not American-made or whatever, so they have to import them. Pretty sure Jerry's is the only place I've seen that carries it. Um, and then you can also, like I said, buy them individually. The 125 milliliter will run you about three bucks a piece, and the 500 milliliter will run you about 550 a piece, um, which isn't bad. Actually, right now Jerry's is having a sale, and the 500 milliliter is only 3.99, so that's really not that bad. Um, if you want to purchase these, I will have a link in the description below to where you can do so. And if you feel so inclined, uh, you should subscribe if you want to see more reviews like this. It would really make my day. So I bought the 12 set, of course, as you can see here. And it comes with a titanium white, a primary yellow, a cadmium yellow, I believe this is yellow ochre, um, a cadmium red, a primary red, which is kind of like a magenta, um, a viridian, a primary blue, an ultramarine, burnt sienna, burnt umber, and then black. So you've got, you know, basic colors and they come in a nice little 12 milliliter tube. Um, here, let's get a closer look at one of these. So they come in a tube that looks like this. And uh, it has these caps, which I think they're pretty cool looking, but they're not, I don't know how to explain it. They're hard to get off. Like, I don't know, there's just a small cap. I prefer taller caps because I have stubby fingers. And here is the back. It just tells you the color name as well as what kind of paint it is. It has the pigment down here. And then this little box lets you know whether it is transparent or opaque. If it has a black and a white square or triangle half, um, it is opaque and then if it is white on both sides that means it's transparent so it's really cool um, but yeah you can tell these are well loved I started out with these I want to go ahead and let you all know that these are not artist quality these are student quality so um, I am going to be basing my review on that just kind of like how it would be for beginners uh, getting into the medium, which actually this is the first acrylic set I did use, so um, it's near and dear to my heart. Of course, um, since I have used it, I am going to be a little bit more critical on it because I want to let you guys know everything um, because I have moved into acrylics like of higher quality, so I want to let you know my whole experience with you know cheaper stuff and more expensive stuff and how it compares and all that stuff. Um, alrighty, so... I am going to go ahead and get into the swatching of all of these gorgeous colors so you don't have to hear me ramble on and on and on. Uh, so yeah, let's go get to it. Alrighty, so here I am swatching out these paint colors. This is going to go by relatively fast only because it took me a while to swatch these because I got a little frustrated because they are student quality so they are not going to be, you know, as opaque as some of the other ones, especially the actual transparent ones. They are really, really transparent. So. I got a little frustrated because I'm not used to working with them, but nonetheless, I got all these swatches done, and we will be going over to the picture right now. So I am about to be painting this picture, and uh, I've been really obsessed with doing paintings that don't have clean edges, so just kind of like what you're seeing here. No clean edges, just painting. I don't know. I just think it looks really, really cute. I don't know. So anyway, let's go ahead and talk about these paints. So as I said earlier, they are student quality. They come in a range of 24 colors. You can buy them in the 12 set, um, which is what I have. 
but they do come in 24 colors. They're thin like Liquitex paint, so like the consistency is more like a Liquitex paint, like the basics. And they are easily cleaned up. Um, I mean, just soap, water, bam, clean. I, if it gets on your clothes and dries though, more than likely it's not gonna clean up. But as far as like hands and studios and stuff, it'll be easier to clean up. It does take more layers to make like a good coverage if you're wanting good coverage because it's a student quality paint, you know, you're not going to get super duper thick coverage. It's just how the world works. Uh, some of them, like the white and the black, are a little bit more opaque than the rest of them, but they're still relatively not opaque. I mean, like, they're... Okay, if you were to compare a white from this set to a white from, like, a really high-end artist acrylic, it would not be as covering, if that makes any sense. Um, they are waterproof and dry, as are every acrylic I've ever tested. Uh, some paints are thinner than others as far as consistency, um, but I don't know if that's just circumstantial. These are a little bit older. I've had them for about a year, so um, they it might just be because of that. They are affordable, though, so if you are looking for a paint that you want to start out with because you don't know if you want to try acrylics, um, I would definitely recommend them. I feel like they're a really good starter set. They are light fast as well if you are curious about that, so these paintings will last you a while. Um, they are good for starting out, like I said, and they're good for practicing. Um, even if you just want to practice but you don't want to use your expensive paints, I feel like these would be really, really good for that. They dry matte and they don't have much of a smell. Usually acrylics don't, but I always like to kind of let you guys know whether it does or not. Um, they are slightly chalky when dry though, and it's really weird. I don't, that's the only thing I really, really don't like about this is that they are kind of chalky when they dry and it's, and I don't like the feeling. I can't stand that. They can be thinned with water. You've probably seen me do it a million times already in this painting, uh, especially with the background. I do thin them down with water. They mix really well together. Um, from what I understand, this paint is just the artist version of you know, the higher quality Lucas paints, but they're a little bit less pigments. They're the artist quality, like, pigments, but there aren't as many. There's a little bit more filler, so they do mix really well together. They're quick drying. Most acrylics are. These are quick drying. They're nice. And they're also good for teaching with. If you want to just teach, like, color mixing, color theory, um, if you have students and you don't want to spend a lot of money, a whole set of this was, like, 10 bucks so actually it's a little cheaper than that but it was a really really nice set and I really really enjoyed it um so I want to talk a little bit about this painting and now now that all of that's over with uh I just did a really simple little fishy background um it's just kind of like an underwater scene it's not the best thing I've ever done by any means there's a lot of things that I kind of look back and think you know, I could have used a reference, number one, I didn't, this is just from my brain. Um, and I also could have taken my time a little bit more, I think it only took me like 20 minutes to paint this, but I, I kind of wanted to speed through it, I wasn't really in the mood to paint, I should have waited till I was in the mood to paint, but I didn't. Um, but, I don't know, I think it came out okay for what it is, it's just a simple little demonstration picture. Um, I also used some canvas paper to paint this on. Um, that's usually what I go to when I don't want to use a canvas panel. Um, if you want to know everything I used in this painting, I will of course have, you know, the stuff in the description and all of that jazz. So I'm going to go ahead and give this a rating. For me, myself, who has used Artist Acrylics, I rate this 5 out of 10 and that's only because it has a lot of cons as far as, you know, being student quality. There aren't that many colors in the range. Some of the paints are thinner than others, and, you know, it takes a lot more layers to make it, you know, cover very well. And they're kind of chalky, which I'm not a big fan of. But that's just for me. Uh, personally, if you're a beginner, this was my first set. I really loved it as a first set. Um, if you're a beginner, I would highly recommend it. I'd give it a 7 out of 10. Um, you know, of course, there are still going to be the factors of it is kind of chalky and it takes more layers. So it's not going to be like a really, really high number. But all in all, I think they're a really great starter set. And if you are looking to pick up a cheap kind of acrylic set to just kind of screw around with, don't do that to your paint. Kind of mess around with, uh, then you can, yeah, you should buy these. And if you want to, I will leave a link in the description below. 
Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this review and found it helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you want to join our cute little squid pod, you can hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, my links are down in the description below, as well as a link to my art store if you want to purchase any of my art or a prints or, you know, stuff like that. So until next time, guys, toodaloo! All right, next up is the shirt, and it's got some kind of foreign language. It's going to be really difficult for me to show you guys what this looks like. <laughs>